ஓம் ஸ்ரீ மஞ்சுநாத் குட் மார்னிங் எவ்ரி ஒன் அண்ட் வெல்கம் டு டுடே செஷன் ஆன் சுசுசு சமித் அத்தியாயனா விதவுட் ஃபர்தர் டிலே ஐ வுட் லைக் டு கால் அப்பான் டாக்டர் முரளிதர் சர்மா சார் எஸ்டிஎம்சி ஐடிபி டு டேக் ஓவர் த செஷன் வெல்கம் டு யூ சார் okay now we will start with the, <coughs> the presentation now uh the point where we had stopped was about of the undva bhaga and adho bhaga ra ubhay bhaga ra dravya the next is about shirovilachana dravya in the shirovilachana dravya the drugs are pippali bidanga apamarga shigru siddhartaka shirisha marija karamira now in these conditions You, you will have to use the fruits or the ripened fruits tatra karavira purvana mula phalani then the bimbi girikarnika kinihi vacha jyotishpati karanja arka in this karavira dinam arkanta nam mulani the roots of these are to be used alarka lashuna ativisha shungavera kanisha these are talisha purvana khanda the tubers of these are to be used to. then tamala surasa arjaka these talisha dina arjaka anta nam patrani use of these plants are to be used to. ingudi ingudi meshashringyo hutpaja ingudi meshashringi the barks of the tree are to be used to. then matlungi murangi piru uh, jati these are uh, matlungi murangi piru jati nam pushpadi flowers of these plants are to be used to. shala tala madhukana saraha shala tala madhukana this the sara the extract of this out of this laksha hingulo uh, hello sir sir we are not able to hear you sir i think now you are able to hear me now yes sir yes sir uh, okay all right we will start again pippali vidanga apamarga shigru siddhartaka shirisha marija karavira The screen is also not visible. Screen is not visible. Hmm. Yes, sir. Now. Okay. All right. Now there was some technical issue. Now the Shiro village is from yes. pippali vidanga apamarga shikru siddhartaka shirisha marija karavira these are the plants of this the uh, phalani the uh, fruits of this are to be used to the karavira purvana phalani then bimbi girikarnika kinihi vacha jyotishmati karanja arka the karavira dina markanta nam mulani roots of these plants are to be used alarka lashuna atibisha shringavera talisha this talisha purvanam kanda tubers of these have to be used to. tamala surasa arjaka in this condition talisha dina arjaka antanam patrani the leaves of these plants have to be used to. imudi meshashungi hotpaja imudi imudi and meshashungi these the barks of the tree are to be used to. matlungi murangi piru jati these are uh, the fruits are uh, flowers are to be uh, uh, matlungi murangi piru jati ram pushpani flowers of these are to be used to. shala tala madhuka nam sara ha shala tala madhuka they are sara the extract have to be used to. lasha laksha hingula nam hingulakshe niryasa niryasa the uh, prepared extract again extract which is prepared well have to be used to. lavana ni lavana the salts then nam um, மத்திய கோஷக்ரதசமூத்திராணி ஷிரோவிலேச்சனானி தீஸ் ஆர் கன்சிடர்ஸ் ஹிரோவிலேச்சன திரவியாஸ் தி பொட்டானிக்கல் நேம் ஆஃப் த சேம் ட்ரக்ஸ் லைக் பிப்பலி பைபர் லாங்கம் மிடங்கை மிலிக்கரைப்ஸ் அபமார்கா எகிராப்சிஸ் அஸ்பெரஸ் ஷிப்ரோ 
ृंगवेरजिम मधुकाक्षिंग Then these are the shodhana dravyas. The next is about the samshamana dravya. Samshamana ani ata urdhva moksha maha. Tatra bhadra daru kusta haridra varuna mesha sundi bala ati bala artha gala kachura shallaki kubera aksha kubera akshi virataru sahachara agni mantha vatsa dani eranda ashma bheda ka alag ka arg ka shatavari punar nava vasu ka vasira kanchana ka हरिद्रिमर अग्निमंथिया वसुकांजनक चंदन कुचंदन उधा शतावरी गुंदा गुंद्रा शैवल कलहर कुमुद उत्पल कंदा कदली दूरवा मूरवा प्रवृत्ति नी काकोल्यादि ही काकोल्यादि गणा सारीवादी रंजनादि ही सारीवादि गणा रंजनादि गणा अंजनादि गणा उत्पलादि नेग्रोधादि त्रिनापंचमूलम इति समासेन पितसंचिमनो वर्गह द गणा पाठस विच यू हैव डिस्कस्ड अर्लियर एंड देन अराउंड द सेम ड्रग्स लाइक चंदना सैंडलम आल्बम कुचंदना इस सीजन पे निया सफल फ्री बेरा ब्लैक डे अंतर्स बेटी बेरा डेस उशी रा बेटी बेरा सीजन नाइट से मंजिस्टा रुबिया कार्डिफोलिया पायसिया क्वेश्चन मार्क अब कोर्स पायसिया इसे सिनानिम फॉर शतावरी वेरी पॉपुलर न्यूज़ तो बच्चा वैसे इस ब्रिटिश लेडी आ रही है या और इस एक � गुंद्रा टाइप का अगर एंगस्टाटा शैव वाला सेरोटोफिलम डेमेसम खलारा निम्फियस चले आटा कुमुदा निम आल दिस निम्फिया वैराइट फैमिलीज निम्फिया फैमिलीज एंड उत्पला निम्फिया नाउ शारी दिस आर ऑल द वाटर विल दी वैराइटीज एंड विच वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड कदली म्यूसा पैरालिसिका दूरवा सिनोडन डेक्टरन मूरवा एंड मार्सिडेनिया टेनेसिस में देन काले का अगुरु तिलपर्णी कुष्ठ हरिद्र शीत शिव शतपुष्प सरला रासना प्रकीर्य उदकीर्य इंगुदी 
सुमन आहता का दुनिया दांगल की हस्ती करना मुंजा तगाल आमजे का प्रवृत्ति ही वन्नी कंटक बन जब मुंजो पिपल यादि ही घर यादि ही मुश्क कादि ही मचादि ही सोलस आदि ही आरंभ वधा जीविति समासेन श्लेष्म शम्शुमनाओं वर्ग है तो ये along with these specific drugs वन्नी बच्चे मूला कंटक बच्चे मूला पिपल यादि करना घर यादि करना मुश्क कादि करना and सोलस आदि करना आरंभ वधा जीवि करना also आरंभ the कपल शम्श दिन तक सर काले का ये बर्बरे सरिस्टाटा अगुरु अगलोचम मेलासेंस तिला बर्नी गैनान रोग सिंस से गैनान रा कुष्ठा सोसेरियल लप्पा हरिद्रा करके मलांगा शीता शिवा इसे फिरी करों वाल क्या रे शतक पुष्पा क्रोधल जिया विरकोसा सरला पहिना रक्षबर्गी राष्ट्रना पुरुषे रंजलोटा प्रकीर्या पोंगिया म जास्मिनम ब्रांडिफोलम काका दिनी एब्रस रिकटोरियस एंड लांगलिका ग्लोरियस सुपर पर हस्ती करना नी लिया मैक्रोफिला मुंजा तक का और और किस लाइटिक बोलिया लामच जग का बेटी बेटी ऐसी सराइक से जिस अर्थ कपा जा ना हो कपा शाम का तो तो सर्वानि आवश्यकानि व्याह की अग्नि पुरुष बनानि अभी समय के शब्द ज व्याधिपल आदर अधिकम आवश्यकम उपयुक्तम तमोपोषम या व्याधिम व्याधिम अन्यम आवर्ति नाउ एनेमर यू यूज़ द ड्रग द दूसरे जब द ड्रग हैज बीन साइडेड बेस्ड अपॉन वन व्याधिपल द इंटेंसिटी ऑफ़ द डिसीज़ अग्नि बला द कैपेसिटी ऑफ़ द पर्सन टू डाइजेस्ट द फ़ूड पुरुष बला दैट्स � and uh, these are the criteria for assessing the dose of the drug, calculating the dose of the drug, and uh, uh, the effect would be Vyadipala the Adhikam Aushalam Uprektam, if at all you have given more uh, than what's needed in case of a disease which is relatively milder and it doesn't require a higher dose, if the higher dose is administered in a condition which requires lower dose, it may uh, uh, reduce that disease but व्याधिम अन्यम आवहति एक में पुरी सेना दर्द है सिंस अग्नि बला अधिक हम अधिक हम मिस्टर भी वापस चले इफ विद द डोसेज इज गिवन मोर देन द कैपेसिटी ऑफ द पर्सन टू डाइजेस्ट और टॉलरेट टॉलरेंस ऑफ द ड्रग इज क्रॉस्ड देन इट कैन रिजल्ट इन अधिक हम मिस्टर भी वापस चले इट कैन इट मे नॉट गेट डाइजेस्ट पुरुष बलाद अधिकम ग्लानी मूर्छा मदान आवाहति समुच्चयम इस गिवन इन बियोंड की फिजिकल टॉलरेंस ऑफ़ द पर्सन देन इट कैन प्रोड्यूस ऑफ़ इम्पैरमेंट ऑफ़ द कॉन्शियसनेस डिफरेंट डिग्रीज ऑफ़ द इम्पैरमेंट ऑफ़ द कॉन्शियसनेस कैन अगर ये हम समुच्चयधन में जी पाते हैं ती बहुत समुच्चयम है ना � शीर्ष में भी दत्तम अकिंचित कर्म होती। इफ द क्वांटिटी इस लेस देन ऑप्टिमम, इट कैन रिजल्ट इन नो यूटिलिटी अ नॉन यूटिलिटी एसेट। तस्मात समय में वह भी दत्त्या था। हिंस ए प्रॉपर डोसेज हैज़ टू बी गिवन। नाउ कैलकुलेटिंग द प्रॉपर डोस इस ए रियल प्रैक्टिकल प्रॉब्लम बोथ इन आयुर्वेदि� the therapeutic index or what we call as a, the safe limit of administration of the dose. It's based upon the similar criteria of what is mentioned in the Samhita. But it's now the present method of calculating this would be by calculating the ED dose and the TD dose. Therapeutic dose is a, a, the minimal drug dose in which it produces a, a, a clinical effect of the drug. Whenever a drug has to be given, the dosage is determined by giving it in small quantities to the experimental animals and which produces a typical uh, the, the clinical effect whatever is expected. Like suppose if we want the temperature to be reduced after administration of the drug, then that minimal dose which is uh, required to produce that dose is uh, the initial dose, the uh, therapeutic dose. Then the fatal dose are the dose which can result in the fatal complications, severe complications, is the ED dose uh, that has to be calculated. Now, if uh, in 50% of the population of the experimental animals, 
and then you get a objective therapeutic index that shows the safe limit of the drug. So if the therapeutic index is more than, if it is equal to one, that means the drug is poisonous. It's a, it cannot be used as such. If the therapeutic index is more than one, then it's a, a relatively safer drug and it can be used as such. Now factors affecting the drug action are is studied in different manners and uh, it's also an important part of the pharmacology study and that part is called as posology and uh, there is a, a individual for a related to each drug the factors are now studied now whenever you drug a pharmacological uh, study of any of the modern drug you need to know about these issues the factors how they can affect like the major so in, instead of going into the detail i'll just go into the very brief highlights and what are the how the drug dose is calculated the most important and very frequently used parameter is the body size body size again either it could be by the body weight or it could be the body surface area body weight you may have like like uh, uh, once you have decided a dose of a drug in terms of the body weight like for how many milligram per kilogram body weight then uh, these uh, uh, average adult dose is a multi suppose if you know about the uh, drug's potential of uh, how many kilogram uh, how many milligram per kilogram body weight the, it's calculated on an average for an average adult if you do not know the body weight it could be like a, a body weight per kilogram in by divided by 70 into average adult dose that's how it is the ultimate dose can be calculated or body surface area. Body surface area is again calculated by in terms of square meter area by the formula of body weight into 0 0.425 multiplied by height of 0 0.725 and again multiplied by a constant factor of 0 0.007184. This is how body surface area is calculated and by, based upon the surface area 1.7 in average adult dose also is a calculated for the exact dose of a specific drug given and then of course the factors which decide are the pregnancy, lactation, age and genetic factors, disease states like kidney or liver in that condition the dosage has to be modified, routes of drug administration, the dosage of the drug in oral route and in parental route can be different. Environmental factors also are important issue, a drug which can be given in a summer season, the dosage, the same may not be same in case of the winter. So it all depends upon the type of the drug and pharmacodynamics. So whenever you study a drug in pharmacology, these factors have to be studied. Psychological factors and tolerance and resistance also are the factors which can determine the dosage. And this is exactly summarized as a, the Purusha Bala, Vyadhi Bala and Agni Bala. Now, Bhavati Chantra, Rogya Shodhana Sadhyatu Yobhave Doshadu Balaha Tasmi Dadya Bishop Pradnya Dosha Prachavanam Rudu. If it says Shodhana Sadhya Vyadi, eh, you have to plan Shodhana. Whereas the patient is relatively weak, the patient is Durbara. In that condition, the Rudu Shodhana has to be given. If the patient is uh, very strong physically and it says Shodhana Sadhya Vyadi, you have to give the Prabhuda Shodhana, Shodhana Dravya and the whole process of the Shodhana in terms of the uh, Shuddhi Lakshanas, Antiki Lakshana or Maniki Lakshana. The uh, assessment of the Shodhana is done by the end product at the end of the Shodhana, like uh, either Pitanta or the Kapanta varieties or it could be the quantity or the frequency like uh, how many times the patient had passed the stools or vomiting like uh, this uh, emetic emesis in case of the woman now the by that you will decide like whether it's a prabhuta shodhana or a mrudu shodhana and in a patient who is physically weak you have to prefer a mrudu even if it is a shodhana sativati chale doshe mrudu koste neshetrata balam nodam if the patient already has a profuse dosha accumulation features and the patient's costa is a mrudu, there is no need to look at the strength of the patient. If the patient is physically strong, then too the shodhana can be given with the, the prabhuta, the maximum direction. So I am prabhuta dosha If the situation has resulted in a spontaneous expulsion of the dosha 
as a patient who has allergic diarrhea or the vomiting due to the accumulation of the doshas. Mrudu Kostasya Shodhanam, in such conditions, you will have to give a Mrudu Shodhana and or you have to avoid suppressing that urge as such. So natural flow has to be facilitated. Bhaved Agupalasya api prayuktam yajanashanam. So that spontaneous passage itself can be helpful in limiting the disorders in certain conditions. So there the issue is you will have to assess whether that spontaneous expression of dosha can be harmful or not based upon the physical strength of the patient and then wherever possible you encourage that spontaneous expansion as such. Then Vatya Vishuddha Madhya Shuk Vatasya Anjali Vishyate Vidala Badakam Jurnam Deya Kalko Akshasamitaha Now in general Sushuddha gives a general dosage when you do not have a specific uh, um, uh, prescriptions, if uh, a kvartha has to be given, liquid has to be given, it has to be Anjali Pramana. <coughs> Anjali is a, we will come to that later, but in general, <coughs> the measure of a open hand, open palm is Anjali. So uh, that kind, that is the dosage decided. Now that word Anjali uh, can be uh, interpreted in two ways. In Charaka Samhita, uh, later in Sushita also, you will come across these descriptions of the dosages in terms of an objective manner or this uh, measurement of the dose also is a sort of a, a self-biometric measurement. Self-biometric measurement is uh, one of the new concepts developing in the contemporary science also. Now, self-biometric assessment in the sense in uh, Ayurvedic methodology, whenever the dose of a drug has to be decided, it is decided by the size of the body of the patient. So, when a patient is uh, given a drug, it's Anjali Praman. The uh, palm open, uh, kept palm open and then that quantity which is retained in that palm of the patient is the real dosage which is suitable for that patient in case of uh, the Kvartha. And for the Churna, Bidala Padaka and the Kalka, Aksha are mentioned as the standard dosages. Now, the <coughs> idea of making use of the body dimensions of the same person as a dosage criteria is considered to be one of the area of future administration of the drug. Now, in the present pharmacology, one of the major problem is uh, to decide about the exact dose of the drug. It's always like whenever you give a fixed dose, Either the dose is increased or the dose is lesser than optimum and hence there is always a trouble with the, the dose, fixed dose of the drug. So lots of researches are going on in different directions about deciding about a method by which a, the exact requirement of the drug can be delivered. And uh, there are many areas, I will not, that's not a part to be discussed now, but one of the area where it's very promising would be instead of going to for this objective measurement like milligrams kilo or uh, the grams and so on it you will have to have a parameter by which the quantity has to be assessed based upon the patient's parameters patients or a person's parameters now all that anguli pramana or maybe the anjali pramana or karsha or so on uh, angula as such all these measures which are mentioned in Ayurveda, they are the resources of that sort of the measurement. At the same time, those resources also are built upon an objective parameter. Now, when we say objective parameter, the criteria standards, like when you say a foot, the foot is based upon the measurement of the dimension of King John II foot, which is kept in a museum somewhere in London. Our meter is a uh, again standard in which a specific rod which is kept in a specific museum somewhere in uh, uh, France as such. And that from that based upon that standard, you decide about the measurements as such. But that kind of a measurement based upon some standard kept somewhere also is uh, not very perfect method though it is the standard and it has become universally accepted and now it has become the objective. But from Ayurvedic point of view, the measurements of this uh, would be 
based upon either the spontaneous measurements of the body or it could be from the naturally available resources. Now, these measurements are methods of measurement. Mana are in Sushruta, the description is compared to lesser. In Chikitsasthana, Sushruta gives you these descriptions of these measurements. Tatra Dwarsha Dhanya Masha Mathimaha, Surana Mashaka, Shodasa Shuranam, Madhima Nishpava Hekun Vimshati Dharanam, Tani Ardha Tritiyani Karshaha, see Dhanya Masha and Surana Masha, Pulu Dhanya Masha or Surana Masha, then Shodasha Surana Masha is Surana. And Madhyama Nishpava Ekona Vimshati Dharanam, the 21 grains are the Dharana. Uh, Artha Tritiyani, three and a half of that is a Karsha. Tatasya Urdham Chaturda Madhivarta Yantaha, Pala Kudava Prasta Adaka Drona Hiji Abhinish Yantaha. Four of each of these increased is considered as Pala Kudava, uh, it is mentioned, uh, measured in the form of Pala Kudava Prasta Adaka, etc. Tula Pula Pala Shatam, 100 Pala is considered Tula, so the Pura Vimshati Hi Bharaha. Uh, 20 of the Palashata or Tula is uh, the Bhara. This is the measure mentioned by Sushruta. But the measures mentioned in Charaka are very detailed. And again, interestingly, the dosage of Bidala Padaka as a standard dose, it, that is not mentioned in Sushruta in that context of the measurement. Whereas in Charaka, the measurements are mentioned in detail and Bidala Padaka is uh, one of the parameters there. Now, it's very interesting is, is uh, that method of measurement and parameters of the measurement in the Charaka Samhita. It starts with the Dhamshi. Chad Dhamshi is to Marichi. Dhamshi is the smallest particle which can be seen. Dhamshi is Trasarayanukam Vodanti. Anyetu Dhamshim Dhurim Ahuru. Trasarayanu or Anu is the smallest which is particle which can be seen. In Brahmavyartha, it is defined as a Janantaragate Surya Kare Dhamsi Vilokyate Trasari Anustu Vijnayaha Trimshata Paramanu Vihi Now when a sunlight passes through a window, the smallest particle which can be seen is considered as a Dhamsi and Trasari Anustu, uh, it, it contains a Trimshata, 30 Paramanus, 30 Paramanus are to be uh, uh, possibly present in that uh, uh, dhumsi, whereas uh, according to some other literature, Paramanu Dvayana Anuhu, two Paramanus together, that means that makes uh, Anu and Trasari Anuhu Tetrayaha. This is again difference of opinion, but uh, the standard is uh, Trasari Anuhu is uh, having 30 Paramanus. So, one thirtieth of the smallest visible particle is the Anu uh, as, uh, according to the Pramavivarta, the standard uh, record, this uh, measurement. Manusmurti, the measure is slightly different. Janantragate bhanam yat sushman dushite rajaha pradamam tat pramanam trasarayanam projection. In Manusmurti, that smallest particle itself is considered as a the trasarayanam uh, or dhumsi as such. So there is a slight difference of opinion about that. Now, but the later important is uh, the measurement protocols. Tatra dhumshas to marit, shad dhumshas to marit is the other. Six of the dhumshi or six of the thrasarayanus, they will form marichi. Shad marichas to jhar chapaha. Six of the maricha are considered as sarshapa. Astaute sarshapa harakta tandulas chapita dhuyam. Eight sarshapas are equivalent to one tandula or rakta tandula. Now, sarshapa tandula, these are all the names of the grains. So, uh, the important is uh, to have a measurement, you have the resources which is available around you. Unlike that of the measurement of food, where the food is kept somewhere in London and then you measure that. Then Dhanya Masha Bhavedekaha. Dhanya Masha is uh, the name for the Tandura. Now, in Sushruta, measure starts from Dhanya Masha, whereas in Charaka, the measure starts from the smallest visible part of uh, the Trasarayana. And uh, Dhanya Masha Dvayam Yavaha, two of the Dhanya Mashas are considered Yavaha, Andikate Tattvaraha, Taha Chatasastu Mashakaha, Hemascha Dhanya Kaschokto, Bhavet Shanastu Tetrayaha, Shanam Dvavu Dramshanam Vidyata, Kolam Badarameva Cha, 
विद्या द्वौ दंशन कर्ष सुवर्ण चाक्षमेव बिड़ाल पदक बिड़ाल पदक कम से बिड़ाल पदक पिछुम पाणी तलम तथा चिंतुक अदर सिनाफार बिड़ाल पदक पिचु और पाणी तल चिंतुक कवल गृह में चिंतुक एंड कवल गृह आलो आर दर नेम्स यूज फार दिड़ाल पदक द मेजर वन ऑफ दैट स्टैंड मेजर मेजर यूनिट देन द्वे सुवर्ण पदार्थम सैत शुक्ति अष्टमी का तथा द्वे पदार्थे फलम मुष्टि प्रकुंजो अथ चतुर्थि का दुर्गम षोडशि का च आम्रम द्वे पदे प्रसृत विभु विदु अष्टमानंद विज्ञेयम कुडव द्वौ तो मानिका फलम चतुर्गुणम विद्यात अंजलि कुडवम तथा चत्वार कुडव प्रस्थ चतुप्रस्थम अथ आड़कम पात्रम तदेव विज्ञेयम कंस प्रस्थाष्टकम तथा कंस चतुर्गुण द्रोण चारमण नावण चतथ सयेव कलशख्या घटम उन्मान द्रोणस्तु द्विगुण शूर्पो विज्ञेय कुंभये वोणी शूर्पद विद्या खाली भारम तथी वजात्रिशत विजानीयात वाहम शूर्पा बुद्धिमा तुला शतबल विद्या परीमाण विशारद शुष्क द्रव्य शुदम मन एवं आदि प्रकृति दिस इज द मेजरमेंट ऑफ शुष्क द्रव्य नव द सेम श्लोक इज प्रेजेंट इन फॉर्म ऑफ ए टेबल and uh, this is done by certain uh, scholars in the ayur times i have just copied it as uh, you may not be you know totally agreeing with these measurements but, but this is one standard which can be practically of use uh, according to ayur times uh, one scholar jagdish he has uh, recorded this i have just copied it uh, now whether uh, there is a difference of opinion or not but the important is uh, you have some objective measurement which can be considered as a, a standard paramanu uh, hello ha uh, yes is sir screen is not visible sir again screen is not visible again uh, yes but my screen is being presented as is it visible yes sir yes sir yes sir hmm. now this is copied from ayurtimes.com uh, so you can go into that so uh, it's not my version maybe there is a difference of opinion but uh, the same whatever charaka has mentioned it's present in the form of a table and uh, an attempt is made to make it as an object objective measurement paramanu is 0.0016 mg dhamshi the same dhamshi or Uh, uh, the uh, it's mentioned as the home shield that table okay 0.05 mg and then marichi is a 0.32 mg so so on and sarshapa is a 1.95 mg tandula is a 15.662 mg dhanya masha or two tandulas is 31.25 mg yava is a uh, 62.5 mg one ratti is two yava 125 mg and one andika is two ratti that's 250 mg mashaka or mashak is 1 uh, gram shana is 3 uh, grams kola is 6 uh, grams karsha or suvarna this is one birala padaka is a uh, kilograms according to according to that uh, source the birala padaka is considered as uh, kilograms and uh, very often is also called as tola uh, in the routine uh, folklore practice or in colloquial practice that is one measure of tola and that's uh, the same then shukti is a palartha 24 grams uh, tala is a uh, uh, 48 grams prasvati is 96 grams then chataka is 186 kudava is uh, 192 grams now uh, in that table they have added that pav which is again usually used in the uh, colloquial practice uh, added in that And that's uh, the two hundred and forty grams, but uh, that's not originally. Pav is not mentioned in Charaka. Then Prastha is seven hundred sixty-eight grams. Then again, Sir is added. Sir again, which is in the usual colloquial practice, that's added over there, which is considered as nine hundred sixty grams. Then Adhaka pa, or Patra or Kamsa is three kilogram and seventy-three grams. One Tula is four kilogram and eight hundred grams. Drona is a twelve kg, two hundred and twenty-eight. Shurpa is twenty-four kg, five hundred and twenty-four and half. 
and body is 49 kg and then the bhara is 96 kg khari is 196 kg and 608 grams now the important is uh, the range of, of the measures mentioned in uh, the samhita is quite huge starting from a uh, anu to a level of 196 kg that shows the very significant detailed method of dealing with the, the in issues in Ayurveda and that's a important highlight of the technological advance at that period. With this, we conclude this chapter. It is Sushul Santam Sutrasane, Sam Shodhana, Sam Shamaniya Nama, Eko Chakwari Shodhaya. Uh, if there are any questions, please try to answer and then write them. Right, there are no questions, so we will wind up today.